Hi! When stamping with photopolymer stamps, clear rubber stamps like this beautiful leaf from the Gord Goodness stamp set, sooner or later it's probably going to get stained with ink. Well today I'm going to show you a couple tips on how to reduce the ink stains. Welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelley Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 16 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. So we're going to make a quick and easy card with a Gord Goodness stamp set, then we'll have some inky stamps so I can show you my how to reduce ink stains tips. Here's the Gord Goodness stamp set we're going to be using today. It's a photopolymer clear rubber stamp set. So when you're stamping with the dark pinks, browns, oranges, and reds, staining is pretty much inevitable. I haven't been able to avoid it, but I'm going to show you some steps to reduce it. Especially when you have a two-step stamp set like the pumpkins we're going to be using today. I need to be able to see through the stamp for the placement. So one tip a stamping friend shared with me years ago was if you're going to have a stamp set that you're going to use or think you'll use with one of those colors, you know, the dark brown, dark pink, dark red, dark orange, go ahead and pre-stain them with a light color ink. So I've got the Sahara Sand Classic Stampin' Pad. We're going to push, flip, and lock that, lock that into place. The idea is that whatever color you stamp with them first is going to be the color that they're stained with because they are going to absorb that color. So start with a, a light one and so then when you use your other colors it's supposed to help reduce the amount of stains. I do that. I don't know how much it helps, but I really like the idea of it. You know, well, it does. It helps some. But let's go ahead and stamp our card and then I'll show you some of the other steps I use. Alright, so what I have here is a Very Vanilla note card and it's part of the Very Vanilla note cards and envelopes. You get all of these together. Okay, so I added a piece of Tangerine Tango cardstock to the bottom. So I like to stamp on a flat uh, surface, so let's open that up. And I'm going to start with the Soft Suede Classic Stampin' Pad. Push, flip, there you go, and lock that into place. And so I've got why thank you. This is included in the Gord Goodness stamp set. I'm going to come over here and right about there. Oh, looking good. Just what I wanted. So let's go ahead and pull on this lip, flip, and click. And so now we've got our photopolymer set. And I've got my pumpkins, and you can see they're stained, but they were a lot worse. So when doing two-step stamping, I start, when using the photopolymer sets especially, I start with the darkest color, which means the one that's all the detail. And so this is the detail one, okay? And you can see that's more solid. That's going to be that. You know, this is going to fill it in and give it the detail. I was going to say background, I don't know if that's quite right, but... <laughs> Alright, so my darkest color I'm going to use is Tangerine Tango. And this is nice and dark. So let's go ahead and ink this up. There we go. Oh, very good coverage. And see, now I can see where I'm about to place it, which makes... Okay, let me... A little bit more. There we go. Great. Loving it before I even pick it up. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so we will clean this, but we'll put it aside for a moment. And then flip and click. And so then we'll fill it in. We'll do that mostly solid one with pumpkin pie. Push flip. Okay. And you can see, you'll see here in just a second. You know, if I'm going to line this up, I really need to be able to see through this as best as possible. And you can see through this pretty daggum well. I mean, I can see through it. It's just working great. Okay, I want to do this without sticking my head in there, so forgive me if it's not quite right. I think we're looking good. Let's try this. Oh my goodness, is that not gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I am, these pumpkins are so realistic. I can just, I can hardly get over it. All right, so back with the soft suede, we got some stems to do. Push, flip. Okay, and these are two-step as well. And so again, I'm going to start with um, the detail one. There we go. Because then when it comes to the one 
for the solid. We're going to stamp off, make that light a little bit, and see now I can see through it so I can get that where I want it. <clears throat> okay, and again, another stem. We've got two different stems. Oh, looking so, so good. Boy, it looks good already, and then when you add the solid behind it to finish the image, Oh, that is awesome! Alright, so let's go ahead and we're done with all that. So now we need to clean our stamps. I use and recommend the Stampin' Mist and the Stampin' Scrub for cleaning red rubber stamps. The Stampin' Mist, it cleans and conditions your rubber stamps. So I was using this combination also for my photopolymer, my clear stamps. And then I was noticing, even if I had just stamped in a light color that wouldn't have made it noticeably stained, suddenly it was stained. It must have been picking up residual ink in my Stampin' Scrub. I thought, okay, so then I was really tickled when I saw a recommendation for the absorber. This is a super absorbent cloth. It's like a chamois, but it feels different than a chamois to me. So I don't know that just getting a chamois cloth will do it. Um, here it is. It starts off looking like this, and it's damp. Okay, and so what I did, I cut it down, and put it into one of the wood mount cases. Look how it's going to look in no time at all. <laughs> I've been using this same one for, I don't know, two or three years now, and it gets stained real quickly so it doesn't stay pretty, but the ink stays on the cloth and not the stamp. Let me show you. So here are, we'll start with these. And so we're going to go right into that dark area and see it's not picking up all of that purple. And so this is how I've been cleaning cleaning them. And uh, what I'll do is, after I get an area all saturated, because I move around on there, but you can see where the brown ink is. I move all around, but it's not picking up any of that. I will, you know, turn it over and use all the different sides. And, um, and then when I think, okay, enough's enough, I'll go to the sink and rinse it out. Now, the first time I did it, I left it really damp. I'm thinking, we need all that moisture. Oh, was that ever a mistake? <laughs> the next time I open this up, oh wow, it did not smell good at all. Well, thankfully, just rinsing it out and wringing it out, not, you know, not really, really hard. I didn't have to do that, but not leaving it soaking like I did. I mean, it was really wet when I put it back in. Just wringing it out and putting it in, it has worked beautifully for years. So now here, we've got, look at all this. So we're getting all of that off, and it leaves the ink right on there. Isn't this great? Okay. And so we got all of that off. Well, then, you know, like I said, I've been doing this for years, and then I used the Berry Burst with my Painted Harvest stamp set. It was so deep in color. The color was, oh my gracious, really, really deep. So I decided to try something. I thought, okay, what would happen if I took my Stampin' Mist and I sprayed it on, and I put it on nice and thick, and just let it sit there for a couple minutes? There we go. And I just left it on like that. Because it cleans and conditions the rubber, I wasn't concerned about it harming anything. Like I said, I just let it sit, and... Uh, and what I did know was, because when I was thinking about harming it, one day I had the idea to try the stays on cleaner on my photopolymer stamps to get that ink off. It was getting some of the ink off, but the smell of it had me a little concerned. So I called Stampin' Up and I said, hey, is it safe to use the stays on cleaner with our photopolymer stamps? She said, do you mind if I put you on hold? I said, not at all. She came back and says, don't do that. <laughs> After a few uses, it'll start breaking down the photopolymer material. Okay, good to know. Okay, and so now mine are all pretty well stained. When you do this, it works best, um, you know, when it's new. But when I did that, oh my goodness, look at the, it's still, it's, look at what it's picking up. Like, oh my goodness. And so I was able to really reduce how stained my stamps were getting. Okay, and so with that, you know, that berry burst was really, really deep. I just went ahead and I kept putting on Stampin' Mist and let it just soak for a little bit until I stopped picking up color. And 
it's still definitely stained, but not nearly at all what it had been. So there we go. Until I can do this and not pick up color. There we go. And now I have stamps that, you know, again, there's still some stains on there, no doubt about it, but not nearly as much if I hadn't soaked that. And now I can see through. Look at this one. I can see through it when I'm wanting to put it right over top for my two-step stamping. So eliminate the stains? No, but we learned a couple steps today on how to reduce the stains. Now you have a couple tips on how to reduce the stains on your photopolymer stamps. And if you'd like to get more of my stamping tips, well then I invite you to subscribe to the Stampers Insider. It's your free stamping source for inspiration, information, and ideas. Just go to www.thestampersinsider.com to subscribe now. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.